Deltrune has had many crazy things happen, with its most alarming yet interesting mystery being Gaster's split among space and time. The royal scientist Gaster has been speculated to have an overarching influence in Deltrune after his accident in Undertale, but while Deltrune has bits of evidence showing Gaster's involvement, a far greater mystery lies in what being shattered across space and time actually did to Gaster. As someone who discovered how powerful being able to learn and utilize new information is, the answer of what actually happens to you, and thus Gaster when traveling to a dimension outside of your own, blew my mind. In Undertale, while we never got confirmation of what machine it was that Gaster fell into, either being the core, somehow the determination extractor if he had finished building it, or the mystery machine in Sans's basement, we do know from Gaster's followers that his experiments went wrong. He fell into his creation and shattered across time and space. Like a drop plate, to understand the incredible nightmare that happened to Gaster, we first have to define what a dimension is. A dimension is made up of how many dimensions or ways in which you can actually move through space. Time exists as its own separate dimension or force affecting every spatial dimension. So the first spatial dimension is literally a line, where you can only move in two directions like left or right along its length. The second dimension introduces the second spatial movement, where you can now move in four directions like up, down, left, and right. Then finally, our universe is made up of three dimensions of space that now allows you to move in six directions, forward, backward, up, down, left, and right, which is why we physically live in the third dimension while also experiencing an additional dimension of time. Scientists have theorized that there are possibly up to 10 or even 11 spatial dimensions and two time dimensions, the likes of which our brains could hardly grasp, let alone the remarkable things that would happen to someone unfortunate enough to experience them. If Gaster, a two-dimensional character, was to suddenly find himself in higher dimensions, he would be in for a bit of a shock. You see, while scientists have been able to guess as to what these greater dimensions would be like, a serious problem for any being from a lower dimension is that their brain would likely be incapable of perceiving the extra dimension of movement in that space, and instead would only see an illusion of what they're used to. So if you were to suddenly find yourself in a four-dimensional space, it's likely your brain would perceive it as a three-dimensional illusion. And a 2D character like Gaster might only see our 3D world as 2D, making it seriously hard for him to move around and exist. Unless, if you're Gaster. We already know that Gaster is here among us, as per the tweets that Gaster sent out directly to the players before the release of Deltarune, and the fact that it seems to be Gaster who personally greeted the player upon starting Deltarune with its goner maker. Huh, how much involvement do you guys think Gaster actually has in the game's plot? While most two-dimensional characters couldn't understand our 3D dimensional world, Undertale is a 2.5 dimensional game, where the characters exist as two dimensional sprites, but live in a three dimensional space. So it's not unlikely that if part of Gaster was shattered into our third dimension, that it would pose any sort of a problem for him. However, this changes if parts of Gaster made it to the fourth and higher spatial dimensions. You see, while Gaster can easily understand our 3D world, when it comes to higher dimensions, things get really weird and exciting for Gaster. You see, see with Gaster making it to our third dimension, where he would be able to see all of the players playing Undertale or Deltarune, as remarkable as it is, doesn't pose any sort of problem for us, or for the characters in either game, as there's not a lot Gaster can do outside of messing with the players and characters as the game unfolds. Gaster is unable to see what is happening ahead of time, and is stuck waiting for the next chapter to release like the rest of us, except when it comes to higher dimensions, with each one being more bizarre than the last. To simplify the incredibly complicated research I had to do for this video, physicists have explained further dimensions as relating to possibilities. If Gaster was split into the fourth spatial dimension, instead of only seeing one two-dimensional side of a three-dimensional object that cast a flat two-dimensional shadow as we see in our universe, he would basically be able to see every side of any object he was looking at all at once. That would also now now cast a 3D shadow. He would be able to move in not six, but eight directions, making Gaster able to instantly move anywhere he wanted, reach inside of anything without ever opening it, and pop in and out of existence anywhere he wanted, all at his leisure. In the fifth dimension, further possibilities open up. Gaster could not only see all of an object at once, but could see through his own world and into others. He could now move forward and backwards in time, popping in and out of any point, any 
anywhere in the past, present, and future. And this matches what we've seen or heard of him in Deltarune so far, as he was able to appear in Deltarune in his very own Gonar Maker ahead of when players had access to the game. He even knew that Deltarune was going to release before any of the players did, but it's in the sixth dimension where Gaster would not only be able to move anywhere and travel to any point in time, but would now be able to see and walk among a plane of every possibility of what could occur in the past, present, and future, no matter where in space he inhabits, as in the seventh dimension, every possible outcome for every universe like his own or otherwise would become clear. But far beyond that, in the eighth dimension, Gaster would no longer have any need to time travel to see what happened anywhere in any universe. As from sitting right wherever he is, the plane of the possible histories and futures for everything in every single universe would be completely apparent. But as if that wasn't enough, the ninth dimension will not only allow Gaster to see and know everything, but now all universal laws of physics and the conditions in which they exist and operate at any moment in time anywhere in each universe becomes crystal clear. And our final tenth dimension adds a whole other god tier layer that completely trumps anything I've said. But first, let's address the one massive problem with all of this. How could a three-dimensional or 2.5 dimensional being's brain survive being thrown around in these other dimensions? This answer gives us by far the most bewildering fact about the brain and about Gaster. While the cells in every organ in our body can only work in four dimensions, three being spatial and one being time, a collaboration of neuroscientists and mathematicians at the Blue Brain Project using a complex approach known as algebraic topology found that the brain on a daily basis works routinely in seven and sometimes up to 11 spatial dimensions whenever it's working on a problem or learning. As the neurons in your brain create and form into tens of millions of multi-dimensional structures that materialize and disintegrate in a flash in order to grasp the problem at hand. This means that neurons in our brain and gasters are able to react to any stimulus in an extremely organized manner that may be able to at the very least survive being thrown around the universe's many dimensions, let alone learn to exist in them. And it's this knowledge plus what happened to Gaster as he entered the 10th dimension that leads us to one final insane answer as to what Gaster has truly become. And while all of this is quite perplexing, as writing this theory took a bit longer than the others, it's the insane capabilities of your brain to learn and master anything that would make Gaster in the mysterious 10th dimension practically hold Deltarune in the palm of his hand. Beyond the 10th dimension, nothing can be imagined by us lowly three-dimensional mortals, which makes it the natural limitation of what we can conceive in terms of dimensions. When entering the 10th spatial dimension, Gaster would experience the most weird and liberating ability far beyond any of the others, making Gaster's sudden appearances and dealings throughout Deltarune, even puppeteering of characters in the game, make sense. For it's in the 10th and final dimension where everything imaginable and possible is laid out before you, and thus anything imaginable becomes possible for Gaster. In other words, Gaster would finally become a divine god, capable of creating and detailing anything he could think of. But if this whole video wasn't very convincing for what really might have happened to Gaster, then here's my most compelling piece of evidence. In my previous video on Gaster's Deltarune experiment, we learned that he is running a secret experiment on Deltarune's players, which is why he sent the message, I have something I want to show you, but it's not complete yet. No, it is far from complete. And a day later sent the following message, I look forward to creating a new future with you. Now, show yourself Deltarune, where he then greeted the player by taking them to his own imaginary realm where he had us build a body from parts he had made himself, a feat possible for not a ninth, but a tenth dimensional being. Watch this video to learn about Gaster's plan for Deltarune, and subscribe so you don't miss my follow-up Gaster theory.